so hello and welcome back guys so right now i was thinking that instead of teaching you all i'm literally just promoting my packages and kind of spoon feeding so let's create something legit and let's learn something so well probably the easiest thing we can do is probably expand the pokemon bot but i will rather do the xp sorry the xp system or leveling system because i want to later make a video on canvas in which we are going to make a profile card so of course we are going to need the leveling thing because i don't want the profile card to be kind of empty so well first of all let's make a to do list for this thingy and what is it we have normal level xp system and then level up plus the level and yes and to check it and right now the xp system is going to be uh, per guild if you want i can teach you one for uh, well like it will like be a global xp thingy but let's begin let's start creating the thing so well we are going to connect the thing with database of course well to be honest making uh, another uh, model will be quite good but let's just add that stuff here well first of all we will need xp it will be a number of course and then we will need level what else do we need xp level and we should have something like last uh, what can we call it well it will be like last uh, xp well it what i will tell you what everything do just be with me for a couple of minutes and i guess this is it i guess this is it well let's begin well later on we will have few more configuration and stuff like that all right let's just add it to our stuff configuration and stuff like that and i was thinking to make a anti spam thing too soon well let's hope i can do it soon well there is our message create.js it is for pokemon stuff let's create one for a uh, well let's let me just copy paste the thing message create.js copy paste and instead let's rename it to something like dot two dot js i will just add few more things in our guild config well it will be like ignore uh wait how to type ignore it's like this ignore xp it will be an array of string it will contain the channel ids of uh, the channel where xp thing is disabled and of course we will have this damn thing which is called xp in uh, uh what should we name it let's just name it xp instead and make it a boolean and bam we are done so now first of all we have where are we uh, where is it there it is so first of all we have our uh, what do we have let's just remove all of this it is quite cringe and let's begin now so first of all we are going to fetch our data we will do cons data is equals to await and then we will do guild configs dot find one and let me check out one thing what is it called it is the id all right so in id we have to provide our id of course what is will we provide and let's do this real quick and now shall we add another thing all right it is enough uh now we have to do few checks first of all if data dot xp is disabled so it is a simple logic we are checking whether this condition is false or not and then we are checking or uh, data dot ignore xp well let me think did i named it that uh, all right it is indeed so if this thing includes uh, the channel id well let me just do message dot channel dot id so we are checking either the xp system is disabled or this channel is disabled then just return and of course we have to check another thing if client sorry not client if message dot author dot bot if that guy is an bot all right so if any of these condition are true then we will just return otherwise uh, well let me just do another check because we are going to need it well let's do it here const user data is equals to await uh, users dot find one oh i got it we have a small issue here uh, where is it user configs we cannot have this thing in our user config because it is a global thing i mean like we have to make our xp system per guild so let's make it uh, user xp dot js and let me just paste this and let me just copy all of this and paste it here and let's cut it and let's do this and well <laughs> i will just tell you what i just did here so now we made a uh, user xp config and let's name it that user dash xp so 
right now we made another model for uh, XP system so it will be a unique model for each guild and for each user and of course they have XP label and last stuff and I will add quite a lot of things I will make it as good as I can just it will be in kind of it will be a mini series inside of our discord bot series and now let's just begin the damn thing uh, where are we message create.2.js and instead let's do uh, xp where is it user dash xp and it is users let it be that and then we have user id is equals to this message dot author dot id and then guild is equals to message dot uh, guild dot id and by the way uh, wait a second guild dot id so now there is one issue we can probably get an error here that the well let me just show you well it is not really important that data is always going to be defined it is totally possible that this thing is undefined so just for surety we are going to add this and now we will most probably not get this error well the error is uh, well what if the data dot ignore xp thing is not defined it do not exist then we will get that error well you know we will get some error i will show you that in well let me just show you instead so if we have test.js and if I do something like const x is equals to an object, it have another value called x and it is an array. So if I just uh, do log, uh, then we will do x dot x dot includes something. It will log false because the array do not include that. Let me show you instead. All right, you can see it said false. But what if this value do not even exist? Then it, we will get this error. Cannot read property includes of undefined. And what if the x is undefined itself? Well, we will get cannot read property x of undefined because yeah, that thing is undefined. But anyways, now let's go to our thing. So now what we have to check? We have to check if ah oh, another thing. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that I'm I keep adding things by things. So it will be uh x timeout um. Let's name it timeout xp. No, no, no. Let's name it xp timeout instead. Uh, well, uh, uh, how to type it, man? xp timeout. All right. It is good. It will be a number. So it will be the number of millisecond a user have to wait before they can gain xp. How we are going to check that? Pretty simple. So first of all, the uh, where is it? Uh, user dash xp. So we have this property called last xp. It will tell when the heck user got their last increment so we have to check whether this plus uh data dot the xp timeout xp timeout is less than or equal to date dot now so we are checking whether the current time uh well whether the user is on timeout or not so i will tell you a bit more like well let me give you an example i don't know why i'm doing this but yes so for example a user ha can have time out of 100 or like 100 and the user did their thing last time on uh 400 well let's just make it 10 instead so if we do 400 plus 10 it will be equal to 410 and this means the user cannot do that thing again until the time is 410 or more so we are just checking that all right so if this thing is greater than current time then just return this means we don't have to bother uh, going f we don't have to bother increasing the xp otherwise we can increase the xp easily so now how to increase it well it is pretty simple so first of all we have to decide the amount of xp we're going to increase so let name it xp and then we will do math dot floor so that we can get the Mm, get an integer value and then math.random and we will multiply it by 12 uh, let's multiply it by 15 and add it by 5 uh, add it by 5 all right so now we are going to get xp between 5 to 20 that's how our math.random thing works i think i told you about this in one of my javascript videos i don't really remember but anyways we are getting some random xp and by the way later on we can of course add all of this functionality i mean we can make it customizable for a guild and then comes another thing now we have to check about level up whether user can level up or not so well first of all i will just do a small change plus equals to 
uh, leave i will just do uh, user data dot xp plus equals to the xp so we increase the xp and i'm saying xp quite a lot and now we have to check something uh, let's make another variable called required xp it will be equals to the amount of xp user need to go to the next level well i'm not going to use my brain quite a lot here i'm just going to copy paste the formula the me6 bot uses all right all right fellas so i hope you can see it now we have to do me6 xp there it is so now let me just copy paste the thing uh, where is it where is, okay here it is so this is the damn formula we just need this part because i am going to do quite a weird shit so what will be our required xp so guys now we have this formula now how the heck are we supposed to calculate the thing it is really really easy so we are going to do a for loop because i like for loop so value will be i is equals to one terminate i is less than n equal to uh, where is it uh, uh what is it user data dot level all right and then i plus plus and now we will do required xp plus equals to and oh we don't have to do int sorry I, i'm using javascript i forgot but anyways now we have to do we have to use we, we have to do this formula that's it we have to copy this and paste and instead of lvl we will just do l and no we will just do i and i here too pretty simple this thing will go through each level and calculate the amount of xp we need well you might wonder that why are we going through each and every xp because our where is it because our xp property uh, here dude and this xp property will contain the total amount of xp all right but anyways it is a bit different from how me6 do but the formula is totally same so who cares so now we have to check if the current xp uh, the user data dot xp is greater than or equal to the required xp if the condition is true then bam level up so we just do user data uh, dot level plus plus i guess well i don't really remember if we can do that uh I, my, my skills are dying but anyways and what else do we need to do we have to just do a congratulation message all right i will do it in couple of seconds but before that i would like to do two more stuff i mean probably one i don't really remember so first of all we have user data sorry users dot find one and update and then we have to provide this filter let me just copy the thing and literally paste it right here and then we need to add some changes so first of all we have the new xp uh, user data dot xp and then we have the damn level uh, let me just copy it and paste it and now we have to add this last xp property let me check if that's how i spelled it all right indeed i did and its value will be equals to of course day dot now the current time in milliseconds and i guess this is it we have to increase the xp level and last xp thing and bam let's just add a, a wait here so that this thing is performed and i guess this is it all righty this indeed is it all right now we have to pro provide a level up message you know what i'm saying so da, 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 na, 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 na. Ura, ura, ura. all right guys so now let's just literally send that message it will be message dot channel dot send and that stuff and now what is equals to message it is pretty simple right now i'm going to hard code it later on we are going to customize it well let me just give you an overview it is my old discord bot called crazy bot now i know more uh run it but it is just a small overview we can have we will have this thing soon a custom message and a role reward system and lot more just wait and watch my friends i will teach you how to do everything because i can do everything myself so first of all we will say uh, congrats and then this tada emoji and let's remove this bam so now congrats and you leveled up to the damn level 
and what is the label user data dot label and we'll say label and shall we uh, make it bold why not so now this is it i guess this is quite good enough for now so now we have our label system and the label stuff increases the xp increases and i guess this is it i guess this is it so one of our to do is done and then we need a rank command well let's make our rank command real quick so that we can check the thing is working for real and let me just do a small thing uh, wait a second so you know i'm doing this use data.xp timeout well it is not really important that this value will always be equal to a number so if it is not equals to a number then let's just make it 1000 for now because i need to do the testing so i guess let me make the rank command real quick i'm so bored man where is the general and rank.js let's just copy paste the ping command instead and rename it to rank.js and just rank and just more rank check your rank boy all right so now first of all uh what do we need to do of course child's play we need to get our damn what what do we need uh i mean like we need to get our model first of all so the user xp thing and bam and now we need to actually fetch that data because we can so data is equals to await users dot and by the way if you're wondering why i am using await it is because this function is asynchronized i mean it will take some time to return the value so i am asking javascript to wait till that thing is returned so the user's value will be equals to uh, interaction dot user dot id and then guild's value will be equal to interaction dot guild id i think we can do that well let's just don't take any risk and do this instead and i guess let's add this for surety and now we need to tell them their damn stuff right so we will make an embed oh i got a great idea in my mind well well where is it message create2.js here we have to add a small thing we will do this if user is fine then create and let me just check out the user xp model and i will tell you what i just did in a second just wait for a second xp level last xp uh right where is it rank.js message create.js there is xp will be zero level will be zero and of course well i don't want to do that instead i can do this uh, we can do uh, wait a second type will be number and default will be zero and let me just copy paste the damn thing everywhere boom all shift f and i guess we did it we did it so what i'm doing here is if the user model is not found then create one because we are going to save it later on we are not really going to save it we are going to update it so we need to do that because if that thing do not exist then we cannot save slash update it but anyway so we have to define an embed just to make it a bit easier i will i will do this title will be equals to uh that uh, that user's name interaction dot user dot username and then we'll do this rank a rank card well soon we are going to make our own damn rank card and i'm not going to use any module because i want to teach you how the heck we're supposed to use canvas and then let's just add some fields fields and then we will have a lot of stuff first of all the name first name will be xp and its value will be uh, data dot xp otherwise zero and of course it is going to be inline inline is true well if you don't know about embeds uh, i i wonder if if i have a video on embeds but i will give you a link in my description from there you can learn about embeds i guess so we are going to do this and inline is true we need to show xp the label and what else do we need to show well i guess for now this much is enough and then we are literally going to do interaction dot reply the damn embed all right i guess this is it we did it 
we made our damn thing uh, and now we have to check whether this all of this works or not no dot enter please don't give me a damn error and i hope that my internet is working and i hope that you guys were seeing the correct screen well i was showing the whole damn screen the whole time man i'm so stupid and let me just remove this cringe css i'm sorry for doing this well it is not really cringe but uh, you know what i'm saying right let's remove this and update now it is a bit more human like i mean now it is a bit more normal and the client is up so what do we have to check well should i add some logs well nope it is fine let's do slash rank and of course we are going to later add an option to see rank of other persons field value must be a non empty string so let me just do another thing let's add these dots for now just add these so that the value is not empty because right now it must be zero or something and well let me add just let me just add few logs uh, let it be log one and well of course i can use that uh, well leave it i will just do log three and let me reload the damn thing well to be honest it is a bit more comfortable showing the whole screen well by comfortable i mean like all right it was gone till one oh dude the data.xp thing is of course disabled well for now just for now let's make it uh this all right just for now all right so that we can test it because i'm not going to make a command for enabling the thing right now well i will just make it but let me show you that this thing works all right now let me do slash rank and bang so you will see something stupid what is wrong with you dude the message field value must be non empty string it is non empty how it can be well let me just log it log json dot stringify and the embed dude this shit is really cringe and instead here we are just gonna send some content uh what is it content uh your label is dollar data dot Level comma your XP is dollar data dot XP. I really hate myself, man. I can't even code this sh simple shit, man. But anyways, let's do it. Slash rank, and all right. Well, none of uh, what the heck? Its value is fourteen. Okay, it is fine, and it is zero dot. What the heck is empty? Why the heck I got that error? But anyways, my level is zero and my XP is fourteen. And let's just spam a bit. And let's check out our rank once more. Well, our XP increased. All right, it is increased to forty-seven, and we need hundred XP in order to, you know, what I'm saying, level up, right? Uh, let's do. Well, you can see sometimes we get timed out. So yeah, stuff. But let's me let's check our rank real quick. All right, we are close. We are really close. Uh, did we reach reach the spot yet? And we dude the xp increment why it is just 5 how is it even possible all right we did it guys congrats you leveled up to level 1 the level up work and stuff work and let's make the uh, enable command real quick go to the admin section and let's make xp.js of course and let's copy the menu and i don't know why i did it uh, it is it is really stupid but let's go man uh, how to uh, let me just cut it out and the option will be uh, uh, enable and let's do option is that and let me just remove all of this and for now we will just have this option thingy well because i don't want to make this video too long that's why i'm doing that and now we need to fix all of these options uh, and this is going to take a year or so i think oh my i got some games but anyways let's do it xp dash enable and type will be one what is this type all right it is a sub command thing and let's add the description to be enable the xp system in your server pretty simple and we do not need any damn option and yep this is it and now let me just copy paste the same thing for xp dash disable and now option is equals to get sub command true well it, you don't really have to type true here it is just some typescript related thing 
and let me just name it this and let me do another thing copy paste and this time it will be disabled and now first of all we have to do a simple thing we have to get our guild config and let's name it configs because i like to name it that and then we need to do const data is equals to await configs dot find one and i don't know how we are going to find it so here is our model and it says id so we need to provide the damn id of course id will be string and sorry <laughs> my bad the id will be the damn id interaction dot what is it guild id but anyways we did the thing we have our data and let's do this of course we need to create the thing if it do not exist because you know we have to save this this shit later on so we need to do that and now first of all we will do let's paste that and find one and update update and then we will do comma xp is equals to true because we are enabling it and here we are disabling it and bang and dude why did i type disabled instead of false but anyways first of all we need a single if check well we will check whether data dot xp system is already enabled then just return and say interaction dot reply otherwise we are going to do something different let me just do this term is now enabled and then we have to add the same if checks for our disabled thing if the thing is already disabled xp system is already disabled otherwise xp system is now disabled so we did our xp system thing and let me just show you the proof because wait a second because we love proof and of course let me leave, remove these logs well i will remove these after just confirming this whether it is working or not but of course it is working because i already created this thing couple of times in my previous bots so yeah well first of all we have to do slash xp uh what the hell oh i forgot to rename it i'm 100 percent sure and uh, where is the command there it is and i knew it because i'm so stupid so of course so now let me reload the thing all right now the thing should work please work dude uh, slash xp all right xp enable so first of all if i do enable it should enable it crazy what is thinking dude how can i get a error in something this simple oh it, sorry guys i'm really sorry instead of reply we have to do something else and that is edit reply how can i forget something that simple well i'm really sorry for being this stupid guys we need to use edit reply because we are already replying this thing at the top and you might ask shishui why are we doing that it is because dude we are replying it because there is a small chance that these awaits take way too much time and our interaction might get uh, delayed no 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 it won't be delayed it will be failed so we can take that risk so first of all xp enable and xp system is already enabled well let me just test it you can see it is going till 2 that means the system is enabled but what if i disable uh, what if i disable the thing so now you can see is it is now disabled so if i type d it will just go till 1 it will well let me show you where is it where is xp.js oh there it is so it didn't log this thing because it was returned here and now let me just enable well i don't really need to enable it uh, i guess this is it let me just remove these damn logs and well let's just do a small change before going because i can do that let's do add a option for checking xp of other people so where is it there it is i wanted this damn option right here let's just paste it well i did told you about these option thingies in a previous video so if you don't know how to do that just check it out well i i don't really want to retell you all of that stuff sorry for that let me do this and do this and do this and let's just do interaction dot user so what we are doing here is uh what the hell all right so we are the user will be equal to the mentioned user otherwise the user who used the command this is it and i guess thanks a lot
and bye for real.